Hey guys, Space Marine 658 here, and today we're going to be talking about Starlight Brigade once more. Uh, today we're talking about update 0.0.4. Um, so basically we've made some changes, mostly bug fixes, but also some expansions to features. So let's go ahead and jump in. So one of the biggest changes has been how the railgun turrets actually um, target enemy ships. Um, before there was a bug happening that was basically causing them to turn away from the enemy ships when they got too close. Um, that was actually being caused because the enemy ships were going so fast that where it was aiming to aim ahead of the enemy ships um, was actually behind it. So what I've changed is now it calculates their uh, velocity and their acceleration as well as its own velocity. And when their velocity is gonna be behind um, directly behind the turret's veloc uh, sorry, turret's forward angle. Um, what they do is they actually aim directly at the ship. Um, so what that does is that makes it so that um, instead of turning around to shoot behind itself, and now when they get too close, the turrets just aim directly at the ships. Which at that point, when they're that close, um, even if they're moving very fast, you're much more likely to hit them um, when you're that close. Um, we've also got a a um, couple of other changes here to how the space station's docking ports work. So I'll show you here in just a sec. Um, so right now, uh, I'm gonna turn to show off one of the bug fixes. So when you were docking previously, sometimes when you would turn to the side, um, you get some weird, funky docking angles, uh, but now that's all been corrected. As well as now you can dock from pretty much any angle and the ship will turn correctly to actually dock. And as you saw there, we have something called an umbilical um, that actually docks the station to the ship. And let's go ahead and refuel here for emptying out. Um, and so now as you see, when you dock, it extends to connect to the new docking port that's on the side of the ship, as well as it retracts whenever you actually get ready to leave. Um, now, as we you know finish blocking out the station and add more details to it, that umbilical will look a little bit more in place with more extra attachments. Um, and I also want to build out some cool little animated bits to kind of bring out some pipes so it looks like, you know, it's very obvious that you can refill your ship from there as well. Um, and then on the other side, of course, you can see this um, connection docking port. Um, right now it's untextured, of course, like the rest of the ship because we're kind of waiting to figure out, you know, how we want to lay out the ship first to make sure there's no other major changes that need to be made before um, I finish texturing that. So let's go ahead and actually just start up here. Um, and so those are some of the biggest changes. Another change is we've added more places you can dock. Um, so now instead of being stuck with only um, that one docking port as previously, now there's more. The eventual goal is to be that there will be different ways and different places to dock for different things. Um, so as an example here, this station has um, a lot of different places to dock. Um, but they're currently all the same. So eventually the idea would be that some of them are actually geared more for fuel, some are geared more for actual repairs, some are better for rearmament. Um, and so what'll happen is you'll have to actually go to these different places to actually um, end up you know, doing those things. So as an example, let me go ahead and turn here. There's Two hours later. All right, um, so there we go. Now we can go ahead and dock. And as you can see here, it still rotates in the correct direction despite being turned off to the side, uh, which is one of the problems that I ran into. And so let's also refuel here. And so, um, and as you can see, you know, different different sections are going to be able to refuel. Some you're going to be able to repair at. Um, currently, you can only refuel, but of course, as we expand these features out, you'll have more and more options. Um, and so that is pretty much all of the changes here. Um, a lot of what I did this um, update was focused on sort of figuring out some of those bugs and then as well as sort of planning ahead for the AI. Um, so I've got some plans for how to rewrite the AI um, to incorporate some of my already existing features as well as sort of like plan how I want the players to actually do things and interact with the AI. Um, as an example, I would like to add more game modes um, right now you basically just have like a timed um, mode where you're basically just racing to see you know how fast you can defeat the enemy um, i'd like to also add some actual objectives um, so maybe some sort of like capture the flag modes where you've got to take and hold a specific spot and the enemy's going to come try and take you on um, or some modes like um, uh, hunter seeker is one that i came up with i i don't know of any games that are quite like this um, in terms of that sort of objective idea. So I, I kind of came up with a game mode. Um, the idea would be that um, there's an enemy fleet that's quite large and basically you would not be able to take it on by yourself. 
Um, and so the idea is that you're going to have to find a specific ship in that fleet. You're going to be given like a little card, um, like a little pop-up on screen that'll kind of explain a little bit about ships. So you have to kind of stealth in, recon all the enemy ships, gather information about them from the intel, uh, and then from there, figure out which one is the ship you want to attack. From there, you'll figure out what's the best way to attack it. So for example, PD ships, you don't want to be launching missiles at because you're going to be able to easily take them all down. Um, but let's say, you know, like it's a, a light carrier or something that you can hit with maybe railgun rounds or missiles. Um, maybe it's heavily armored, so you got to hit it with a specific type of missiles. Uh, maybe it's lightly armored, so like you got to be careful of over penetrating. So you got to use like lighter missiles or uh, grazer missiles, which shoot out laser beams when they explode. Um, so there's like, you know, different specific things you can do to, to target those ships. Um, and I think that would be a lot of fun. Um, and that one will probably be less of like a high score thing and more of just a um, fun little like sort of exploration stealth um, infiltration kind of game uh, mode. And so that's what I've been kind of, you know, conceptualizing, planning, thinking up, um, things like that. Um, so that as we're working on the other features that sort of play into those, for example, adding more Intel um, information on enemy ships, um, we'll build up sort of this repertoire of ideas for objectives and other game modes. But yeah, um, so that's most of what I have for today. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. Uh, if you'd like to give me suggestions for either features or for ideas for the game, um, you can join the Discord. Um, that is where I will be, you know, sort of able to respond to the most because um, I'm pretty much always got that Discord up in the right hand monitor. Um, so if you want to leave some feature suggestions, I do believe I have a channel just for specific suggestions. Um, and if you happen to leave a really good one, or if other, a lot of other people like your suggestion, um, it'll actually end up in the future feature section. And that's where I sort of pull all my ideas out of. So whatever I want to work on for the next week, I tend to pull out the future suggestions or future features. Um, and then from there, you should be pretty much good to go. Uh, if you have any questions, like I said before, leave them down below, but otherwise, Good luck and good hunting.